is Julia Moss and I don't know when you're watching this but for me today is the 25th of December which is Christmas Eve. So right now behind me is the best market in Russia of 2021. Let's go inside. I think the main reason why people love this market is that you can literally buy anything here. Fresh fruit and veg, you got it. Local dairy products, sure. And even if you don't want to buy anything, you can walk around and look at everything like you're in a museum. There's two floors and the second one is just mostly cafes, but there's also a sitting area where you can relax after a busy day of shopping. And since we're in festive season right now, you can make some great photos with the decorations they've put up. Or you can monkey around like I'm doing right now. You can always find something to do, it's very fun. Okay, I think we're ready to move on to our next location. Let's go. Stop. We are not going anywhere without coffee. And I happen to know just the place. Let's go. Now for sure. <laughs> then we went to Tichu Coffee, which is my favorite coffee shop in town. Ate some of the sweets that my dad previously bought at the market. I got myself a huge latte and after I drank it up, I decided that it's time to go to our next location. So right now you can see us wandering around Revolution Avenue which used to be called the Bolshai Dvolianska Street or the Great Noble Street and some people say that it reminds them of St. Petersburg and I couldn't agree more although our city is over 100 years older than St. Petersburg although it is also greatly associated with Peter the Great but we'll talk about that later. And we even have our own zoom and it may not be as gigantic and glorious as the one in Moscow but it's still something and right behind it we've got our very own Marriott Hotel and it's actually one of the most controversial buildings in central Voronezh. It got a lot of hate for ruining the historical centre of the city. What do you think? Do you agree? McDonald's. KFC. Whose side are you on I wonder? This building is our puppet theatre and you can see Bim the Dog from the famous book White Bim Black Ear by Soviet writer Gavriel Troipolsky who was born in Voronezh himself. There's way more talented people from here than you thought. Locals say that if you rub his ears and nose you will always have good luck. So let's try shall we? While we're having another coffee break, I'll tell you about Peter the Great and how he made a huge contribution to the city's development. He regularly visited us and spent over 500 days here and the first prototype for the Kronstadt Fortress was also created here. Even though we don't have access to sea, Peter the Great ordered to build over 250 warships for the first navy fleet in the history of Russia. One of them is called Gotapredestinatia. A model of it is currently standing by the Admiralteiska embankment and serves as a museum where you can learn more about the history of our fleet. As a southern city, Veronica Voronezh is basically just one big hill, so I can't go down to the embankment and show you the ship in person as it's a long walk and the weather is extreme. Behind me right now is one of the most festive places in the centre of Voronezh. It is Lenin Square. We like it because there's always a beautiful Christmas tree and an ice rink for everyone to enjoy time with their loved ones and family. Behind me is the cinema Spartak and I personally love it a lot because every year they bring British films and have a ginormous British film festival. At this point you're probably wondering, where do people around here do their Christmas shopping? Let me show you. Right now we're exiting the city centre and heading towards the northern micro district. But we still decided to make one more stop before we get to the shopping centre. By the way, this pyramid is one of the most recognisable sites of Voronezh. places to go because the food here is very nice and very cheap and very filling and this fast food restaurant only exists in my region and in the neighboring regions and I honestly don't know how you guys live without it in Moscow so let's try this amazing pizza our final stop for today is going to be City Park Grad, which is something like mega shopping centres. It's basically a humongous building not too far from the city with over 240 shops, an aquarium, an event hall, an amusement park, two food courts and god knows what else. A walk from one end of the shopping centre to the other is around 1.5 kilometres. So if you've got some serious shopping to do, you'll probably take your car and go there. If you don't have a car, there are three special buses that can take you there from pretty much any part of town. 
So just to sum up, I would like to say a couple words about why I decided to make this video blog. Um, basically, I would like to promote the idea of visiting smaller cities to people from Moscow or St. Petersburg because there is life here and there's stuff to do and stuff to see. So I hope you really enjoy this video and thank you for viewing. Bye! Wondering, where do people around the... Uh, 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 no, no, no. Bye. Еще раз палец мешается.